Right, dry, the ground has dried out today at Cork for this first leg of the Moore's Million Challenge, a qualifying event for this big prize money, uh, big prize money in the, the last day of the season. Three mile five maiden chase. One is a Castor and Malvis, Darren Thompson, two Boomerang Armand, uh, Graham Clatterback, three Houston Obsessive, Vinnie Gerroth, four Southside, Gavin Minigan, five Train Park, Stu Gray, six Trained Attitude, David Robertson, seven is Wizard Martin Leadham, eight Another Way, Obi Wan, nine Landlock, Craig Bedworth, ten Madeline Rose, Patrick Hogan, eleven Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry, and twelve Right on Cue, Dave Hoody. That's the start and a good jump, uh, well, a uh, good start. Uh, but most in a Castor Malvis for Darren Thompson has gone to the lead from Houston Obsessive for Vinnie Gerald on that one's outside, then a Trend Altitude. Another way, the yellow colours for Obi Wan, just been passed up by Landlock for Craig Bedworth. Then comes uh, Madeline Rose as they go over the first, and they all jump at safety. Uh, a slightly slow jump for right on cue near the back of the field, and uh, Train Park is a trailer for Stu Gray. So Acasta Malvis takes them along from Houston Obsessive in second, about three lengths back to Craig Beckwith's Landlock as they come to the second yard cork. And a good jump on Moser, a slightly slower jump near the back of the field, including Boomerang Armand who's going wide as well. So Acasta Malvis still the leader as they come to the third, jumps it well. And uh, a very slow jump at the back again by Boomerang Armand for Graham Clatterback. So Castor Malbus leads it from Houston Obsessive. Three lengths back to Landlock. Then comes a, m another way with Madeline Rose and that one's outside. Trend altitude for trend attitude for David Robertson. And on the outside of that, the Grey Horse South Side for Kevin Meanigan. Then the right on cue for Dave Hoody on that one's inside. Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry. Then Wizard for Martin Needham. Uh, jump the next uh, and uh, not on landing there for Craig Beck was uh, Landlock. Uh, Acasta Malva still leads them. He was also slightly slow at the uh, last jump from Houston Obsessive in second. Then another way with Madeline Rose and that one's outside. Train attitude. The light blue and pink colours for David Robertson. Beyond that is Landlock for Craig Bethworth as a jump the next. And Boomerang Armin is uh, tailed off near the back of the field uh, along with Train Park. Can't see them at the moment. The leader, Acasta Malvis leads from Houston Obsessive in second. Then comes Madeline Rose for Padraig Hogan. On the inside is another way with Landlock next to that one. They jump the next face. Most of them could have okay. Uh, no real mistakes for many of them and they're all still standing here at Cork. It's a Castor Malvis as they come past the winning post for the first time. The leads from Houston Obsessive in second, then three lengths back to Landlock. Alex Cherry's Bonnie Awesome has got a bit closer on the outside of Patrick Hogan's Madeline Rose. Then comes uh, David Robertson's Trend Attitude. On the rail is Obi Wan's Another Way. The Grey Horse is South Side for Kevin Meanigan, then Wizard. Uh, Dave Hood is right on cue just behind that. Three lengths back to Train Park and Boomerang Armin is uh, five lengths behind Train Park at this stage. They're also standing here at Cork though in the, soft, in the good ground. Uh, so Jump again by Boomerang Armin at the back though. Acasta Malvis for Darren Thompson still leads from Houston Obsessive in second. Landlock travelling well in third for Craig Beckworth. Madeline Rose, Padre Gogan has always been handy in fourth place. Then comes uh, another way for Obi Wan. Uh, the grey horse trying to creep in between horses is Sasa. Train attitude and that one's Sasa. The orange colours, orange cap is Alex Cherries and Molly Awesome. Then Martin Needham's Wizard as a jump the next. All got over safe. No, there's a fall. Uh, South side are gone. Kevin Minningham, South side fell. The first faller in the race. Uh, it's Darren Thompson's Acasta Malvis who still leads from Houston Obsessive in second. Three lengths back to Landlock. Then Madeline Rose. Uh, jump the next and all get over it safely. Uh, still at the back, Boomerang Armin, who's about five lengths behind the last horse. It's a Acasta Malvis. The leader from Houston Obsessive as they come to the next. Jumps it well. Another faller there. Patrick Hogan's is gone. Madeline Rose uh, fell at their last fence. And that leaves... It's two out of the race, uh, Castor Malba still the leader from Houston Obsessive. Then uh, a strong travelling landlock. We pushed along is another way. Molly Orson behind that uh, trend attitude is going well. Then was it for Martin Leadham when that one's outside right on cue. Uh, fight five lanes back to Train Park as they come to the next. They all get over it safely. Boomerang arm and we're very slow at the back of the field and it's probably about seven or eight lengths behind the last horse. So Castor Malvis the leader. Three lanes clear from Houston Obsessive for Vinnie Gerald in second.
second. Landlock is going well in third for Craig Beckworth. About five lengths back to Obi One's another way. Trend attitude on that one's inside. They come to the next fix and uh, they all jump it well except for right on cue. Balloon that slightly and lost a few lengths in the air. Train Park is near the back of the field and Boomerang Harmony is still going but is a long way behind the last horse. Acasta Melvis now being joined by Houston Obsessive on his outside as they come to the next fed, being pushed into it and saw a good stride there, Alasta Melbourne, who now extends again by a length from uh, Houston Obsessive in second, Landlock is back in third, they pass the post for the second time and they all go off on their final circuit, Acasta Melbourne, the leader from Houston Obsessive in second, then Landlock then Trend Attitude, Body Awesome on the outside of Another Way, Wizard is just behind that, then Right and Q has made a few jumping errors, Train Park has always been near the back of the field and Boomerang Armin has always been a long way behind the last horse. The cast and Malpas as they come to the next, jumps it well, they all get over it well except for Molly Awesome, a balloon that lost a few lengths in the air. But Castor Malbus has been travelling strongly the whole way, leads from Houston Obsessive in second. Going really well in third is Landlock for Craig Beckworth, trying to move close in our trend attitude for David Robertson's. Farplins back to another way for Obi Wan. Molly Awesome on that one's outside, and right on cue, trying to recover off the, some of those mistakes. Then comes Wizard for Martin Leadham, three lanes back to Train Park and Boomerang Armin, still at the back of the field as they jump the next and they all get over it well. Good bump, but jump by Train Park, who now joins Wizard near the uh, back of the the packet we can see. So Acasta Malbus the leader, now trying to push clear again in the front, comes to the next place, uses a good stride and jumps it really well from Houston Obsessive in second. Then comes a landlock for Craig Beck with train attitude, being pushed along to try and get closer. Right on cue is trying to move closer on those ones outside. They come to the next and they jump it well and train attitude got a good but Drew jump uh, made some ground in the air. It's a Castor Malbus, the leader from Trend Attitude in second. Houston Obsessive now being passed by right on cue. Then Landlock for Craig, Craig Beth being uh, caught a bit flat footed. But a Castor Malbus is the leader with uh, three fences left to jump. As about five lengths clear of uh, Trend Attitude in second. Then right on cue and Houston Obsessive. They get over the next fence and they all jump it well. But a Castor Malbus is about six lengths clear of Trend Attitude in second. Right on cue. Houston had used obsessive, then landlocked. They're not making much impression on this leader. And Darren Thompson's uh, cast as Melvis has led the whole way, but is now extended by about 10 12 lengths. Nothing really coming out of the pack, just but a bad mistake by Casta Marbus in the front. It allows the pack to close, uh, the close up on him. And Houston Marbus and Wright and Cubers, Wright and Cube getting closer, as well as Landlock, who's starting to get going. It's a Castus Marbus. Landlock looks a big threat with Houston Obsessive. And Casta Marbus is getting wary now. And here comes Houston Obsessive and Landlock as they come to the final fest. The Castor Melbourne's the leader from Houston Obsessive, but look at Landlock on the outside for Craig Backwood. Still travelling strongly, a Castor Melbourne's, but Landlock is going to pick him up. Landlock goes to the front, and Craig Backwood Landlock draws clear and wins impressively. From Castor Melbourne's in second, Houston Obsessive was always handy, finished back in third, and I think Alex Cherry's Molly Awesome ran him well for fourth. A Castor Melbourne's I think that mistake cost him the race. He was well clear before that landlock travelled really well and picked him up. And I don't think he would have got there if uh, Castor Malbus hadn't have made the mistake. So landlock the winner for Craig Betworth, uh, Castor Malbus second for Darren Thompson, Houston Obsessive third for Benny Gerald, then Martin Q for Dave Woody and Modern Molly Awesome for Alex Cherry. Benny back in first.